Namaste everyone and a warm welcome to all of you again on my platform where we are discussing fertility clinic insights, journey on infertility and how does an infertility evaluation run for an infertile couple. So today I'm taking you to a journey where always my patients ask me that ma'am how does an IVF cycle run? What exactly do we do when we come to you for IVF? And what exactly does the cycle mean? So, here I am to tell you today that how does an IVF cycle run? Typically, any IVF cycle starts from day 1 or 2 of menstrual cycle. Now, why does it start from day 1 or 2 of menstrual cycle? Because the woman, the reproductive system of the woman is standing on a baseline when the menstrual cycle starts. So, any evaluations primarily take place on day 2 of the fertility cycle and when these evaluations are within the right parameters, we start the journey of IVF from day 3. Mostly more than 50% of the protocols start from day 3 but in IVF we have got multiple other protocols also which may start before the this present menstrual cycle. So by that I mean in the last or in the previous menstrual cycle. Now when we start the journey of IVF, we involve injections. People fear injections and people always tell me that ma'am, can't there be any other alternative of these injections? So there can be no alternative of these injections because these injections are called as gonadotropins and these injections are for the sole purpose of making eggs. We give these injections in calibrated doses and these doses entirely depend upon your parameters what we have, might have evaluated in the previous cycles for you before we start the journey of IVF. The gonadotropin injections start from day 3 of the menstrual cycle and these injections they last for 10 to 12 days of the cycle. The sole purpose of giving these injections is to make multiple eggs for you in an IVF cycle and also these injections work on the quality of oocytes on the quality of endometrium, they also help us in building up the receptivity of the endometrium for the fertilized embryo. 10 to 12 or 13 days of these injections are also followed up with the follicular monitoring scans. The follicular monitoring scans are a very important part of any fertility treatment. What do we evaluate and what do we judge in a follicular monitoring scan? I have spoken up in my previous video. So you please listen to that video and try to understand that why do we typically tell you to do these follicle monitoring scans around 5 to 6 times in any kind of fertility cycle. Now, 10 to 12 days of these injections are given for the purpose of oocyte maturation, for building up more eggs, for building up a good endometrium. By 14 or 15 day of the menstrual cycle, when this endometrium and when this follicle is ready or you can call it is mature, we give you an ovulatory trigger. When we give you an ovulatory trigger, we plan up your egg retrieval 36 or 34 hours after the ovulatory trigger. The egg retrieval is a process which is done in an operation theater and it is done under complete anesthesia. It is a vaginal procedure and it is done under the guidance of an ultrasound. In ultrasound machine, we see how many follicles are there. We typically aspirate one one follicle and this procedure is done under complete anesthesia. It does not involve any cuts or any scar marks on your abdomen. We give you general anesthesia because it is a painful procedure. So this is done on 14th or 15th day of the menstrual cycle by the fertility expert. On the same day of the cycle, we also collect the semen sample from your husband, which is a fresh semen sample. In case the husband is not available, the husband is traveling or the husband is not well, we can always use a backup semen freezing which your fertility doctor might have frozen in case the doctor knows that such a thing is about to happen. So on the day of oocyte retrieval, we take a fresh or a frozen semen sample and the spots in the semen sample are utilized to fertilize the egg. Now, when the egg is fertilized with the sperm, that is called as day zero of fertilization. Now, after the 24 hours, we typically check up 
for the fertilization. So that is called the day of checking the fert status or the fertilization status of the embryo. We also check that if there are 10 eggs and if we have fertilized all the sperms with these 10 eggs, it's not necessary that all the oocytes might have fertilized. They can be 4, they can be 5 or they can be all the 10 which might have fertilized with the sperm depending on different diagnoses in which you fall. Now, after 24 hours, we again check the embryos after 48 hours and then again after 72 hours for a day 3 status. Now here, this day 3 embryo is very important for us and we actually take a decision as to whether this day 3 embryo is good for freezing, it is good for putting inside your uterus on the same day or the embryologist which is equally an important part of the IVF journey gives an insight to the fertility expert that whether the embryos can be taken up till day 5 what we also call as a blastocyst. So what is a blastocyst and what is the importance and what is the significance of having a blastocyst transfer? I shall be speaking about in my further videos, but here let's discuss about how does an IVF cycle journey goes. So typically from day zero of fertilization, after three or five days of the oocyte retrieval, the fertility expert shall put the fertilized embryo inside your uterus. If the fertility expert is planning a frozen embryo transfer cycle for you, these embryos will be frozen and will not be put inside your uterus in the same cycle. But if the fertility expert wants a fresh embryo transfer, then depending upon your many other parameters which have to be judged, a day 3 or a day 5 fresh embryo transfer is planned. Now, after the day, a day of embryo transfer, we give you medications which are supportive so that you can attend a normal pregnancy. Now, we give these medications to you for about two weeks post embryo transfer, what we also call as the luteal phase support. These medications are given for the sole purpose of you attending a pregnancy of the embryo to get fertilized, which we have already done outside, but now the embryo has to implant inside your uterus. So to help the embryo to implant inside your uterus, these medicines are given. These medicines are given for two weeks and your doctor might tell you to take it easy for these two weeks, not to do too many strenuous exercises, not to take too much stress, not to do very significant traveling and then after two weeks the doctor tells you to do a blood test what we also call as a serum beta hcg for pregnancy i know these two weeks wait is a very important wait and is a very strenuous wait for many of the couples when we do a serum beta hcg of pregnancy after two weeks and if it comes positive then it is on that day that it is your day when you come to know that you have conceived through IVF. So my dear couples, typically a journey of IVF starts from day 2 or 3 of the menstrual cycle and it goes on the whole month in which step by step every day is important. Day 3, day 4, day 5, days of stimulation, assessment of endometrium, picking up the eggs which we call as the oocyte retrieval, doing an embryo transfer which is decided as day 3 or day 5, the opinion from an embryologist whether we should go for a day 3 or a day 5 transfer, the medication which we give you for 2 weeks called as luteal phase support. So this is how an IVF journey runs and after 2 weeks if you have become pregnant, your result is come positive, then we again after every 48 hours, we monitor, we do this blood test because at that time, the pregnancy is too small to be seen on an ultrasound. It is just a four and a half or a five weeks pregnancy which we get. So, to monitor the growth of the baby, we repetitively tell you to do this test, serum beta SCG, and we also give you supportive medicines. We tell you to do this test every 48 hours, maybe for three or four times. And if the values are growing, we are happy to see 
that the embryo is stable and the pregnancy has completely attained a good implantation. After one or two weeks of the first beta HCG, we tell you to go for an early pregnancy scan. Now here the early pregnancy scan is to document your cardiac activity or the fetal heart rate of the embryo. And if it is there, there is no end of the joy of parenthood. Thank you so much. Don't fear IVF. It is a blessing to get a baby through IVF. It is not to fear about it. Thank you.